Brolga's morning patrol is almost over. There's just one last Rue to check on. Roger. 190 pounds of pure muscle. Roger was one of the first kangaroos to set foot in the sanctuary. Today, he's risen in the ranks to mob boss and is built to deliver a knockout blow to any male he sees as a threat. And that includes Brolga. I was Roger's mum. <laughs> and that's why he's got no fear of people. But fair dinkum, I got fear of him. Roger's grown up around me his whole life, ever since I rescued him as a little pinky about eight years ago. I called him Roger. So they had these big ears that just flopped over at the end. It made me straight away think of Roger Rabbit. I'll never forget it. It made me crack up, it was pretty funny. Like Rex and Ruby, Roger was orphaned on the highway. When rescued, he was a fragile, hairless little baby, or pinky, who fit into the palm of Brolga's hand. Times have changed, and Roger is now a formidable adult kangaroo. I still look at him as my child. I rescued him, I raised him. I spent all my money at the time fixing him up at the vet. Today, it's not really a relationship like mother and child unless you've got a real delinquent son. <laughs> Hand rearing a male kangaroo and keeping them can be dangerous. If they grow up around the girls, they will one day want to attain the position of alpha male. And that's what Roger is. He's the alpha male here. And today, he doesn't look at me like his mum. <laughs> Today, he just wants to kill me. Every day, he wants to drive me out of his territory and away from the girls. Roger's journey from orphan Joey to leader of the pack is a kangaroo success story. But like most moms, Brolga's not expecting thanks. Man, there's a pet snake you are, mate. 